Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, performing a quick Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Maybe not so quick, we'll see how we go. Uh, first I'm just gonna do a quick moon cave skip, hopefully that part's quick. Uh, I've done it a couple times now, so I pretty much know what I'm doing. I say as I fail to do it. <laughs> anyway, it'll just take a few tries. Too close. But yeah, first I'm just going to do a quick moon cave skip. There we go. Now, now that I've done the moon cave skip, I'm going to take my left Joy-Con here, the one that has the uh, movement analog stick. I'm going to put that in the drawer over here. I now only have a right Joy-Con. I know you can't see that, but I only have one Joy-Con. <laughs> and we're going to play like this, uh, with just the right Joy-Con to work with. And we're gonna try to beat the game, uh, from this point. I know this is possible, uh, I've seen a video of this being done. Uh, we will need to get our left Joy-Con back out for the last phase of the final boss. Um, if you don't know what the last phase of the final boss is, I recommend you stop watching because it's really good and it's a spoiler. Um, but we should be able to do everything up to that point without actually using the, uh, left analog stick at all, and so you should be able to do it with just the right Joy-Con, which is the only one I'm holding right now. So yeah, I can move the camera and stuff, I can also roll, but I'm a little scared to roll because there's an edge right there. I can redirect which way I'm looking, uh, which makes Mario move in a different direction by going into first person mode. And that's about it. That's pretty much all the moves I have at my disposal. Uh, I can do stuff like long jumps by rolling and then jumping out of it because that gives you the momentum you need. There we go. So yeah, we're about to do the ending of the game, so again, watch out for spoilers. Uh, we're too close to the door now, so I can't actually turn around. So I'm gonna just step back a bit, stand over here. There we go. <laughs> so to do this phase, the pop phase, we just have to head over there. We can just roll forward, easy peasy. Hilo Bowsette. So yeah, for the main fight, uh, we're gonna be using just the right Joy-Con. I'll pick up the left one again when we get to the very last part, because you do need the left Joy-Con, you have to use the left analog stick, unfortunately, but for the first part that we're doing now, I'm just going to be using the right Joy-Con. I think I can actually skip this cutscene, I could control that with the only with the Joy-Con I have to skip the cutscenes, but yeah, I think I will. There we go. Okay, so the boss battle. Um, this is tricky because we can't move very well. Um, fortunately, Mario still has pretty much his normal move set while wearing a hat. And if you start rolling like this, you can roll and punch, which is very helpful. Also, uh, you automatically face towards Bowsette to punch her as well, which is very helpful. So yeah, if I just shake like this, I punch and roll towards her at the same time, which is a pretty good combination considering the situation. Um, just gonna dodge the fire. Oop, excellent. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's one hit. <laughs> uh, we actually need three, so...
isn't going so great. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we are now without a life up heart. That could be an issue. Uh, we'll see how we go. I'm basically just getting some practice in about at playing the game this way because I haven't really done it before. Uh, I will skip the cutscenes. Okay, that's one. <laughs> ah, look like a hit. Mm. Pretty hard to dodge the fire. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, that's two. That's two. Oh my goodness. I can actually use Amiibo because the Amiibo button is also on the other Joy-Con. Otherwise I could heal up. No. Ah. Oh. I'm getting better. <laughs> this might take a few tries. It's not that hard a boss battle to begin with, which helps. Okie doke, that's one. Jump, jump, and roll forward. Yeah, that's two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, um, the last part of the battle after this bit is completely impossible uh, without using the left analog, unfortunately, which is a bit sad. Oh. <sighs> Oh hey, you can actually buy a life apart from that that guy, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. I'm probably not going to, but I'm guessing you're selling life up parts. Yeah, just like at the previous boss battle. It's interesting because the Moon Kingdom actually has free life up parts outside you could go and get. Um, but you can also buy one here from this guy if you fail a couple of times, apparently. So that's interesting. It's too close to the door so I couldn't go into first person mode. <laughs> there we go. Ah. 
Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oh. One. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> okay. Ah. That's it. That's the boss battle complete. With one Joy-Con. <laughs> I know you can't see, but I am holding one Joy-Con here. Just the right one. Oh my gosh. That was really cool. <laughs> what if you could do it with just the left one? Damn, now I need to try that. Alright, I'm gonna switch to just the left one for this half of the battle, because I know you need the left one. Uh, again, spoilers, um, but I think I can do it with just the left one. Maybe. We'll see how we go. So I'm going to put the right Joy-Con in the drawer now. I can't skip the cutscene now because the skip cutscene button is on the right Joy-Con. <laughs> Okay, I think I actually might need to press B in a second. I don't think there's a way around it. Yeah, that's what I thought. You gotta press B to make Mario jump up just here. Superstar. Alright, so then we can run over here with just the left Joy-Con. Again, spoilers if you haven't seen this part of the game before. Spoilers. God, I love this game. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can't move without using the left stick as Bowser. So you have to actually uh, use the left stick when you captured her. And we can't actually jump without pressing B, so you need both Joy-Cons. So yeah, you can't do it with just one. That's a shame. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, you definitely need both Joy-Cons for this part of the game, which is a bit sad. But still, we can finish it off and just... finish it off. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, the actual battle you can do with just the right Joy-Con, because I did it. And it was pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. 
对吧？ XD， <laughs> that's called XD skip. It saves absolutely no time and costs you a whole heap of time if you mess it up. <laughs> I believe Small Ant One invented that. Yes. <laughs> God, I love this ending so much. Smash through the blocks that bar your way. No time for fear, just let it all fall away. Nobody believes in me and you, just look at the way they stare. So what if we live in a walled garden? As long as I've got you, then I don't care. Kick off the wall and take the plunge. Tripping through two dimensions. Up on the moon, wheel, pull and swoon. Just lead the way. I throw my hat in the ring, cause you're the one A miracle in three dimensions Follow the brick path straight to my heart And we'll grab the flag together, the fireworks are gonna start Shake off the chains, you're running free. You'll be amazed at all that there is to see. Together we're racing for the goal, and no one can stop us now. Anyway, that's the ending. Oh gosh, I love this game. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, you can complete nearly the entire game with just one Joy-Con. I just did the final boss with just one Joy-Con. But you can do most of the game that way. There's only two places that require it, uh, which are the ending just there and the frog part in Top Hat Tower. Also, look how cute Cappy and Tiara are. I love them. Rise and I know we'll be fine. So let's shoot for the stars and make this love really shine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Body believes in me and you. Just look at the way they stare. So what if we live in a walled garden? As long as I've got you, then I don't care. Kick up the wall and take the plunge. Tripping through two dimensions Up on the moon, we'll pull and swoon Just lead the way I throw my hat in the ring, cause you're the one A miracle in three dimensions Follow the brick path straight to my heart And we'll grab the flag together, the fireworks are gonna start God, I love this game so much <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, to do a full single Joy-Con run of the game, you do need to use the left analog in Top Hat Tower and for the final Bowser fight. You don't need to use it anywhere else in the game. Uh, there are other ways to do things. Um, you do have to use two-player mode at some points, which means you do have to use two Joy-Cons, but you don't have to use, like, the left analog stick, basically, is the thing you're trying to avoid using. And when you go into two-player mode, Mario stands still and Cappy's on the right analog stick, so it's fine. <laughs> Again, just like, like the last time we saw this in one of my videos, most of the stuff we didn't do because of all the challenges we applied. Um, most uproot stuff, uh, going underwater in Lake Lamode we didn't do, uh, getting... Uh, Cappy captured by Klepto didn't happen because we avoided that. Uh, we did go to New York City. 
We just didn't do all of it. Um, we didn't get Mario that outfit. <laughs> we didn't do the jump rope thing. Uh, we did go to the pool, so that happened. Uh, we didn't do the uh, festival, because we couldn't, because we weren't using power lines. But uh, we can't do the volleyball, because we didn't actually complete the story in that kingdom. <laughs> Gosh, I love this game. But yeah, what we did in the Snow Kingdom. I know I tried to do a the Snow Cap is a trans girl skip, but it didn't really come like happen. Hmm. Oh well. I didn't think I pulled anything too interesting off in that kingdom. That's okay though. Uh, I don't think we did that thing with with the meat either in Cookatail. Pretty sure it didn't happen. Uh, this one has to happen. You're forced to do this part. And this part. We did our best to skip it. You can't skip it. And that part happened. Although we didn't wear a spacesuit. Interesting, most players wouldn't have worn a spacesuit at this point in the game because you don't need the spacesuit to do the final section. You don't need the spacesuit for anything, actually. Since I added that other suit you can use to get the moon in um, Lake Lamode. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game. You're welcome, Mario. Thank you so much for making your game or starring in it or whatever. I think I made a joke like that last time, I've got saw the credits sequence. Oh no, frogs, I haven't captured any of those. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much the experiment. We did it. Uh, we completed the boss battle against Bowser using just the right Joy-Con. Uh, what if you could do it with the left Joy-Con? I think you could. But, it would be harder, I think, because you can't jump. It'd be, it'd be like a jumpless run, basically. Except, actually, maybe maybe not. I think you think you could do it, actually. Uh, to jump over the flames, you would have to use the little hop you get when you do a dive. Um, which would be really hard, but I think it'd be possible. Oh, I love you too, Kathy. I love her so much. What a cutie. Anyway. Uh, we're now in the post-game. Uh, if we have a look at our capture list, there's no frogs in it because we didn't use a frog at the beginning of the game or anywhere else in the game. Uh, a bunch of other stuff's in this list, though. <laughs> Anyway, yep, that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this game makes you as happy as it makes me because I love this game. Um, and it is very dear and n near and dear to my heart. Or dear, dear and near to my heart? Both? It's both, both of those things, really. And yeah, good good show, game, whatever the word is. Um, I like this game a lot. Uh, you may have noticed. <laughs> um, bye.